Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kuat Piston Pro Hitch Bike Rack and how it fits on our 2022 GMC Sierra 1500. The Piston Pro is a premium bike rack option. It's a platform style bike rack capable of supporting two bikes up to 67 pounds each. It's going to hold on to our bikes in a pretty unique fashion with this dual wheel mount design. So if you want to get pretty much any bike on here, you can. Carbon frame will work. Alternative frames will work. Mountain bikes like you see here, it'll hold heavy bikes so you can get electric bikes on here as well. If you have a bike with fenders, it'll also work with this rack as long as you pick up the fender strap kit to make that work. But let's check out some more about the features and all the things that this rack offers. The first thing we'll talk about is the fact that we do have the ability to tilt the bike rack away with the bikes loaded up. I will say the handle isn't in my favorite spot, especially if you have another bike loaded up in the front. Kind of just weird to get to, but once I'm here, I can pull it and let the weight of the bike racks down. And we found that we get a decent amount of tilt, but not quite enough for us to get the entire tailgate down. So if we move this pedal out of the way, we can get really close, but we'll eventually make contact right around here. So we can't get full tailgate access. But one of the nice things about this car is that we do have the smaller top tailgate. So if we have a tonneau cover or something like that, we can still use this one, have full range here. But if we want to use our full tailgate, we can open it a good amount of the way, but we can't access it fully. If you don't have a tonneau cover, now would be a good opportunity for you to get something out of the back that you might need though. Tilt this back up. Can also be kind of difficult. There's not a lot of leverage, especially again, if you have two heavy bikes loaded up, but I'll tilt it back up, it'll snap in place and now we can work on getting the bike removed. Here's where that piston name comes into play. So if I press this button, it'll release these hydro pneumatic arms, just like this. And we'll be able to release our back tire. They do go all the way down. So make sure you have room for that to go all the way down, especially if you're in your garage or something like that. Now I'll hold on to the frame of my bike because as I release that one, our bike will be free to move around and now I can get it up and off. With the bike out of the way, we can just take a closer look at that piston action and how it would look if you were loading your bike up. So you just press that button and it again releases this mount all the way out. You can go even further if you want to, but you'll hear it ratcheting back down, making those micro adjustments it would make on the tire. And on the side, you can see that there are those numbers. There's just different tire sizes. We can move the mount just by pinching these two levers here on the back to accommodate those and all the way down here if you want to get those fenders on that we talked about at the very beginning. On the trays, just a closer look again, they do have the ability to support a tire width of up to five inches right off the bat, a maximum wheelbase of 53 inches. And on the center of the tray here, you can see that there is a lock core that's for the cable lock. It's included. It'll wrap around the frame of your bike and store the bike to the rack. It's not integrated onto the rack, but it is included and it'll lock up right there. From here, we can get a measurement just to see what it's like to add this to the back of your vehicle. So in this position, from the bumper to the furthest point back, we're gonna be adding on about 28, just about 28 inches. So honestly, for all the things that it can do, it doesn't stick out that far. As far as the ground clearance goes, from the ground to this furthest point back, it's gonna come in at about 28 and a half inches. So there's a really nice rise and our Sierra sits high enough that I'm not gonna be worried about that making any sort of contact, going up hills or over curbs and bottoming out. But if we want to, we can save a little bit of that space using that same lever we used to tilt the rack away. Pull that, it folds up, it stores closer to the vehicle and I'll get a new measurement to see how much space we save. Now from the bumper to the furthest point back, it's gonna be about 14 inches. So we do save a good amount of space that way. As far as what the rack covers on the back of our vehicle, our license plate is right here in the middle, so that's gonna be pretty heavily obstructed. It doesn't come anywhere near our taillights. Our backup camera is right here in the middle, so it sits pretty short. It's gonna to have tons of room for your backup camera to see over the top of that. And it doesn't come anywhere near tall enough to interfere with the top of our tailgate or to be visible out of our rear window. In the event that you maybe did have an issue with covering your taillights, or you just wanted a little bit of extra security or extra lights, this does have built-in lights as long as your vehicle has four pole wiring. At the top of our rack here, you can see there's another lock core. That's just to secure the tool that we need to tighten everything down. Just lock that up right there. And 
we'll use the tool down here with our two inch shank to just tighten up this anti-rattle here in the back. And then we can replace that back at the top. But on the subject of the shank, it is a two inch shank. It fits into our two inch receiver tube. It's held in place by this pen with a lock core that's gonna be key to like to the two lock cores that we mentioned earlier and held in place by that anti-rattle bolt I just mentioned. So it's gonna be really sturdy and secure in the hitch. We're gonna take it out here on the test course. First thing we're gonna do is hit the bumps. We're just gonna see what it's like if we did hit some speed bumps. I'm watching the bike, watching how it holds on the tires. It looks like it moves just a little bit, not too much. This is mostly standard with other bike racks, so nothing to worry about. The bike doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Now we're gonna go a little bit faster in the parking lot. I'm gonna take some aggressive turns and see how it handles there. Looks like it's fine. I see a little movement again, but again, the bike's not going anywhere, so I don't have to worry about it. So overall, the Kuat Piston Pro is a premium bike rack option, just because of how much it does and how many bikes you're able to get on there. There's also a telescopic ramp that comes Separate, you can buy it separately, but it is an option for this rack if you need a little bit of help loading and unloading those heavy bikes that it also can support. So if you want something that can get the job done and look really good while it's doing it, the Kuat Piston Pro is definitely a really solid option. This was just a quick look at how it fits on our 2022 GMC Sierra 1500.